Uh, good morning. We are very glad and honored to be the host the 2017 Spring Broadband Commission meeting in Hong Kong. On behalf of Huawei, I would like to express my respect and gratitude to each of you here. As one of the commissioner, I really experienced a great change from the year 2010 until now. It's seven years. As we all know, 151 countries already have the broadband plan, national plan. And uh, also we can see the broadband play the most important role for each country for their GDP growth. Uh, how we can have this uh, successful result? Yesterday, I think about, I think it's three very key things. First, we have a great leader team uh, by President Kagami, Mr. Carlos Lim, also Dr. Tune, and Mr. Holing, and Mr. Bakawa, and uh, Mr. Carlos Jack. And uh, I was touched by your passion and uh, commitment. Yeah, each time I attended the meeting, I could feel your energy, your passion there. Yeah, this is a very remarkable. And uh, uh, calculate, we have uh, more than 14 formal meetings, plus three times in Davos, 17 already. I remember, uh, we always mention about uh, President Kagami. You always attend each meeting. Only you missed one as last year in Dubai. You have a very busy schedule. Yeah. So this is, a, as the leader, as the great uh, country's leader, this is very unique. That's why in your country you achieved the so successful result uh, by the ICT driving, driving. Yeah, this is, a, I think it's a good example for for the other countries. Um, also, Mr. Carlos Lim uh, attended most meetings. Uh, I, I remember he hosted one meeting in, in Mexico City. Uh, I have the picture there. Uh, he opened the space for more about a thousand thousand computers in the mass uh, in the square city, and uh, let people uh, to experience what is uh, broadband, what broadband could bring uh, change the life. That is a really picture still in my mind. Yeah. So by your effort, uh, we made this happen. The other things, uh, the second is we have uh, passionary commissioner from uh, government, from industry, and other organizations. Meanwhile, we have an uh, excellent uh, working group. Yesterday, I met uh, Ms. Bakava, and you mentioned about you have the whole day meeting with the working group. It's for, the, for today, uh, we have, uh, our discussing. So this uh, is very key reason we, we got this result. I do believe over the past years, the industry, government, and uh, society have come to experience the value of the Broadband Commission's effort to promote broadband, digitalization, MDG, and SDG too. Uh, last night we had dinner, we talked about uh, uh, we said it's not only for the infrastructure, also we need a demo, we, we need to show what kind of uh, benefit for the society. We share a lot of case for the e-government, uh, education, e-health, e-traffic, and smart cities. Uh, I, I remember in Rwanda, the local carrier Liquid uh, Telecom has investment and achieve great effort. You already have a 10 megabit to the home. This is amazing in Africa. Uh, also in Kenya, uh, one project is called Mombasa. Uh, it's mobile money application. Uh, I remember it's a 34% of the, of the GTP 
the number that contribute for the GDP is 34% on this network. Also, they have uh, another uh, case, it's a safe city. Uh, because for the broadband uh, infrastructure, it's uh, quickly the, the, the built a safe city. After one year, the crime goes down 46%. Uh, this case also happened in Saudi for last year. Uh, in China, uh, now 80% village already have the fiber. It's fiber to the village. Uh, until the year 2020, it's 98% uh, village has the fiber. Uh, so uh, after this infrastructure, you can see, uh, I just uh, shared the case with China, uh, China Mobile, the Li Zhong, about uh, how successful in Jiangsu province, in this province, uh, it's broadband to the to the each home, including the village. Also, they already experienced about it's not only in the normal internet. Up, it's already experienced AI and VR. Yeah, so this is a very exciting uh, things. Also, for Sichuan Telecom, the delivery 4K TV to the village. Now, most of the time, we still have 2K TV, but in Sichuan province, they already deliver 4K TV to the village. It's 10 million homes already have a 4K TV. Uh, so this is also amazing uh, things. Uh, also, the other case, it's uh, in South Africa, uh, we have one case, it's uh, uh, about education. It's covered to 20, 20 to, uh, 2,200 uh, schools. Uh, also, as you know, now the, the Ubu and the share the car, the share the bicycle, also the BNDB hotel, why they can widely use globally. I think this is a, quite based on the broadband. Yeah, but we still, can, we still know uh, 3.9 billion people are uh, still disconnected. So uh, our company, we pay a lot of attention for the, uh, because for this kind of, uh, for 3.9 billion, the, this disconnection is most in the, in the um, developing country in the poor area. So when you think about a low cost solution for this area, uh, it's not only for the infrastructure, also for the terminal. The other things is we can see since last year, the broadband is not only influenced to the people, also it's quite uh, uh, quite influenced to the industry. So now uh, I remember in Davos I attend the chair um, chair society meeting. Each chairman it's a talk about digitalization. Their headache, also their challenge is digitalization. So uh, I think the national broadband also will play the important role for that. Now I know already 35, more than 35% companies already use the cloud for their digitalization. This is a, it's a next wave. Um, so the broadband for the industry, uh, it's clear, it's coming now. So we will see the intelligent society coming in the next 10 or 20 years. Their advanced ICT technology will support our SDG and build a bad connector world. So I'm looking forward to discuss with you and share our opinion with you. Also, I would like to invite you face by face <laughs> to our headquarters, to visit our headquarters, also attend the broadband forum in the headquarters. Thank you, have a good day in Hong Kong. <laughs>